for me, the, I mean, the, I think the biggest excitement about this Getty is that we get the students to actually have a voice in the 11th assembly. So the participation in the ecumenical conversations has really excited me because that's an official uh, program of the assembly. And our students are going to be there and their voices are going to be incorporated in the reflections that will take place. We've had five working groups uh, working together to do different things. There was a group that uh, devised the curriculum, another group did the reader, and there was a group that put together the prayer resources, and we had a group that was uh, raising finances and contacting institutions, and a group that uh, did immersion sites. So uh, different people worked together who also became facilitators. Uh, in the program. They've done four weeks now with uh, the students uh, in groups of eight to 12 students and we have 10 groups uh, all together. We hope that uh, the community will really bond and that they will begin to have deeper discussions because uh, we call it, uh, the residential phase is called encounter learning. So as the community comes together and they are having deeper conversations, inf including difficult conversations where they are not in agreement, that's exactly what ecumenical dialogue about you know, various issues uh, is supposed to be, to wrestle with the issues together, where we find common ground to move together, and even where we do not find common ground to build uh, uh, respect for the positions that each one uh, holds and still move together. So this is my first uh, ecumenical experience or event ever. So it's very exciting um, and it's been really, really fun. Everyone has been very kind getting to know everyone online and the themes are incredible too. Um, I studied theology, but there were a lot of topics that I never studied in depth, like uh, Kairos for creation or healing of memories and everything else that we talked about that really uh, widened my perspective and made me think more and made connections theologically and get to know people and make friends. It was a very, it's very exciting. And then getting to meet all these people in person and I love meeting people from, from all over the world, especially when we know we're, you know, we're united in Christ and we're part of this one body and we have this connection uh, regardless of where we're from geographically or in terms of our uh, traditions and backgrounds. I'm part of the Coptic Orthodox Church, which has endured the trauma of persecution uh, for about 1,500, 1,400 years. And we've sort of been living in this survival mode um, because of that, this idea where we close ourselves off and we're privatized because of just the fear and the trauma of that persecution. And we don't spend, we're not able to go outside of ourselves to meet more people, to make those connections across traditions, across churches, um, across the world geographically. So this idea that Christ's love, which is the new humanity, this divine love that overcomes all of those divisions. Because we divide ourselves, John Zizulis writes that we divide ourselves naturally based on everything, churches, hobbies, ethnicities, personal preferences, likes and dislikes, and that's natural. But to overcome that through Christ's love, which makes that possible as Christ's humanity, that is sort of our responsibility to be like the Trinity, which is one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But that doesn't lead to division, it's actually necessary for that relationship. So to be like that, to embody that as Christians. On July 25th, we started uh, learning from Getty as online. So it's, uh, it's a very difficult time for me because uh, in our country, our condition is very uh, not, not good and, and it's, it's challenging to connect with people all around the world. But it is very fruitful to learn from, uh, from, uh, from many resource persons. And then it's uh, actually, it is, it's a blessed time for me. Christ's love uh, removed the borders. It's, uh, how can I say, it's a very meaningful theme. Uh, in my context, there's a lot of borders between as uh, between our, our citizens, there's a lot of uh, borders, and, and as I'm coming from the Buddhist countries, and 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 my country is of uh, how can I say my country is uh, full of uh, other religious people. So in this context, so uh, how Christ left removed the border is very meaningful for us.